Let's take a first look at the Solomon S-Lab Phantasm CF, around 200 euros to come spring 2022, a max cushion racer. It, it has a 23-millimeter uh, forefoot, 32-millimeter heel uh, without um, the sock liner, so quite a stack height. In terms of weight, it should come in at about 225 grams, 7.9 ounces, and a US-9 EU uh, 42.5 at 200 euros was introduced at the Paris Marathon Expo, and we also have information on three other shoes in the collection later in the video. Our correspondent, Jeremy Marie, was at the Expo and brings us all the information. So it is a big 23, 32 millimeter stack height without the sock liner, so it should very closely approach the IAAF limit of 40 millimeters for um, road racing shoes. It's a composite plate that's said by Solomon to be shaped a bit like the hoof of the chamois, the mountain goat of France. So the plate is stiffer at the front, but it flexes more easily laterally. This, I think, will uh, produce a smoother, softer flow. It is more flexible than the, than the typical carbon plate. It is a composite. That's what Solomon wanted to do here. Here Jeremy demonstrates the plate. Uh, what, what happens is it's stiffer up front, more rigid and it, it's also more flexible laterally. The fork at the rear is to reduce some of the harshness felt by plates, and overall this is kind of a very variable flexing plate. As he demonstrates, they did not spec carbon because it didn't meet the specs they were looking for and there was waste. The combination of the composite plate, the R camber geometry, and the energy surge midsole creates what Solomon calls energy blade. It has a energy surge midsole, which is softer than the earlier Phantasm, uh, so closer to the Pulsar and the Ultra Glide. The upper is, uh, is Matrix, the same kind of material used in the uh, Pulsar, uh, here in a very breathable, open, uh, non-stretch kind of mesh. It should prove very, very water draining, breathable, and comfortable. The outsole is, of course, Solomon's Conta Grip, and here it seems to be in a quite very full coverage, uh, so it should prove durable and grippy. So here it is spinning away in the display there at the Paris Expo. Uh, haven't run it, but uh, based on uh, Jeremy's first impressions, I'm going to guess this shoe is going to feel more like the RC Elite from New Balance than, say, the Endorphin Pro from Saucony. Uh, it might also be uh, quite a bit like the Kraft CTM Race Rebel. Uh, don't know yet how it will compare to the Nikes, but we'll get to all that. So I want to thank Jeremy for doing all the great work. And now stay tuned as we have more uh, on the other three models in the collection. So there's more to come in 2022 from Solomon. Three other models, uh, all with energy surge midsoles, all with the R Camber Rocker. So the uh, Phantasm has the same ge geometry as the CF, but instead of uh, the plate, it gets a uh, rod. So it's designed to be uh, a bit more flexible. And the CF is already designed to be more flexible than carbon plated shoes. So it's designed for uh, runners who forefoot strike. And I would say it's likely to be a competitor to shoes such as the Endorphin Speed from Saucony. The Spectre with a U is designed to be a shoe more for midfoot to heel strikers. It only has a teeny plate at the heel and it's a six millimeter drop versus the, the, the nine of the two Phantasms. So this is your kind of up-tempo maybe shoe uh, comparable uh, say to something like the old Sonic Pro from Solomon or maybe the Hoka Mac, Mac or Cliff. We have the uh, Glide Max uh, which is the big shoe. This one um, has the most cushioning of any of them does not have a plate, it shares the energy surge uh, midsole, and it has a, uh, a little more gentle arc camber rocker. So this is your long distance kind of cruiser, comparable maybe to the Endorphin Shift or the Fresh Foam More from... All very exciting here for Sol from Solomon in 2022. Of course, our testing will determine, but uh, this is a very well-organized uh, line with at the pinnacle here, the uh, S-Lab Phantasm CF. We're looking forward to getting more information on the other three uh, and testing them. But in the meantime, we have many, many reviews over at roadtrailrun.com. We hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel. And we thank you very much for watching. Have a great run.